all guys welcome back to the channel today's episode is kind of a cool one i bought this bumper pull diamond c trailer custom ordered it's brand new bought it for my dad so we're gonna head up there and surprise him with it here in a second so the previous video I actually hauled my new dump trailer home on the top of this that was quite the uh, 300 mile exercise but before we take it up there to his house i want to get all things organized got some new tie downs some little guys for light duty loads throw those in the toolbox and i got a couple gallons of Dark Walnut Ready Seal deck stain. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on these boards, you know, preserve on it because I know as soon as he gets it, he's gonna load up a machine on it and never seal the deck on it. So I'm excited to show him this trailer. But first, let's get it ready for him. This is the stuff I put on all my trailers and actually stained uh, my front gates. Ready Seal, I believe this is what flavor? Dark Walnut with, yep, Dark Walnut. Give it a good shake and then a weed sprayer. Give her a nice light coat, this stuff will soak in real nice. Alright, hopefully the tip's not clogged terribly bad. Oh, she's a little weird. It worked out perfect. About the time I got the tip tuned in, ran out. But right as I ran out, ran out of deck space. So now it smells like your back porch. Do not leave one of these partially full out in the sun. They turn into an explosion and it will well your your deck will be sealed but so will your trailer steel now got all the deck sealing on there over spray is cleaned up so it's not extremely slippery on the fresh paint tie downs loaded up let's go up and surprise them with this new trailer oh there's Emma Who's the idea, Oh, break it in, break it in. Get some steps, get, get some steps on that fresh oil on there. Get it, get it, get it. All right, Emma. Mm, the fresh Yahooskin. What is that, huh? Yeah, I just oiled it. Did you? Yep, about an hour ago. No, I'm sure if you, uh, honestly, I thought it was supposed to come with oak deck, but David said, well, your sticker will show that your trailer weighs less from factory because they weigh it as it leaves the doors. Uh -oh. So, you know, your payload could be higher. Whoa, that is slick. Yeah, no, <laughs> careful. She needs a couple rocks on your boots, scratch marks settled in. So it's got the 17.5 tires and wheels upgraded. I'm noticing you get better lug nuts with that too. We get those big old bulge ones. They're not torsion axles. I didn't know how I was going to feel about that. But for this particular trailer, you can go to the 8K torsions. But this thing actually rides really well. Having that equalizer. So I don't think you'll mind that. Yeah. It, I don't, you're not going to get like that one tire while your trailer's doing a wheelie through a ditch kind of a deal. But it's, uh, won't let that come off. Unlike the yellow trailer that just has the hydraulic dampener that doesn't have a lock, this one's got a lock. So you can actually lock the cylinder out so it won't move. So you can drive up on there, hit the lever, and it'll slowly let it down. So see how it's locked right now? You go down here and hit the lever. But you did get the main ingredient that I think we all would be really mad if it didn't come with the hydraulic jack. Yeah. Slide it up probably this way underneath this board. And then forward under that and then yeah, screw it down. Do that. Yeah. So it's anchored solid on both ends because. They kind of bound, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one talked to me about that. They didn't spray out there the sides a little bit. Uh, yeah, you need to get your moon boots on if you're going to be floating around like that. Yeah, so it won't be popping up on the ends like the other trailers. This thing's 10,000 pounds. 999 trailer with. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah i gotta inform people that so non-cdl 
California, if your trailer is rated for more than 10,000, I said rated for more than 10,000, you have to have a CDL. So technically this trailer could be like an 18K trailer. So we're going to derate the hell out of it. Only thing he's going to be hauling on it. You could haul the little X if you're, you know, licensed for it. But where is it at? The lift, the wood splitter, and the wheel tractor are your three machines. And the reason for the tilt is because you don't have to have ramps or anything back there that stick out farther. They don't ever sit quite perfect when you're on an awkward surface. Not going to lift the tongue of the trailer up when you're getting a little wheelie action. So loading the track machine, the little lift, go right up on there, I hope. I mean, it looks like it's a pretty steep ramp, but I do have... Uh, I don't know. I need to go up a little bit on the tongue, so we got to adjust it for your truck. You think the lift will drive up there, huh? That if it doesn't, this trailer was a pointless purchase. <laughs> I don't. It doesn't look like it's too much steeper than uh, the big trailer, so we got to get the lift over here and try it out. All right, moment of truth. He downshifted the old girl into one rabbit. Wait, no, one tortoise. We got two tortoise, one tortoise, and then six rabbit gear. That ramp's a little bit steeper than I honestly expected. If you watched this before, with this old trailer, it doesn't have the ramps on it because they stick out too long. For whatever reason and i don't think they honestly go narrow enough oh so he would put the legs down lift the whole spider lift up with it you know itself and then drive the trailer underneath of it give it the old morning stretch there you go All right, hang on. No. So it's supposed to have power up and down. Yeah, it's already got the plumbing and the hydraulics there. See if I can do this one-handed. Looks about money. Barely even fatigued. If you get hutch suspension on the heavier duty trailers, I would like to have the equalizer rather than the torsions, but torsions are pretty damn tough. But one thing about these equalizers, I said before, I'd never get the suspension like this again. And I don't know, I don't remember saying yeah to this. But anyway, he's actually got some really thick stuff for the bracket, and hanger, and all that. It's pretty thick. You can overhang it, you can overhang. Back her up a little bit. He's worried about sticking out too long for length laws for, I don't know. You have to talk to him. Hmm, it's not bad. It went kind of right up on there. It's going to do a little better, I guess, when the uh, oil really juices in. So it's not super, um, yeah, it looks like it's going to get the job done there. Yeah, the you mean. Yeah, that's a really, it's, I don't Two by six steak pocket? I haven't seen that before. They really beep those up. 
Really? I don't think they got good food up there, but sure. So the controls and everything are in there. They got actual nice latch on there nowadays, way better than the ones they used to run. Yep. I got you a whole kit of those, but I had to use them to tie down the trailer. I got some yellow ones too, but I don't think you guy wanted yellow. Put a chainsaw in there maybe? Uh, well, we'll have to put a spare in there, so that's oh, going to eat right. up some of the real estate, but... Uh, it does look pretty wide, though. That's got the nice dumb cold latch. Yeah, but there's... If the, if the latch breaks up here, it's going to be locked on. So it's got a spring that holds it down in there. It's a pretty slick design. That mainly holds it up, huh? Yeah, that's all it does. It unlock. Unless, if that um, latch is gone, she's locked. You have to use your pocket knife or something to pry it out. Something like that? Yeah, right like that. Yeah, nope, um, right there. Yeah, you can do it like that, it's kinda. Backwards? Or, I mean, hell, you can even go like this. Where's that gonna go? Yeah, that's actually a little better. Oh, here, hold this for a second. Even for... Yeah, it's kind of hitting. Goofy right there. Oh, here, go on this. Still found the same. Yeah, it's going to yeah. rub right there. Yeah, I don't like that touch. Make a couple bolt right here. One here. And one back up. Even to this spot right here. That's a pretty isolated spot. And you can do that back here too. No, this doesn't have the other layer. Well, once you tell well, this machine really needs some anchors like that. Yeah, they probably don't want to anchor to that because somebody, you know, somebody from the last guy used to haul stuff when they put a snap binder on something like this and just bend the landing gear. Yeah, I guess you could. Well, if you run it a couple of times, then figure out where the thing's actually going to ride because honestly, I think it's a little nose heavy. But. You know? I mean, it looks a lot. Looks like it could go back like 10, 12 inches maybe. But then we can weld on some other D-rings. That's not that big a deal. Maybe I already said, this thing weighs 6,900 pounds dry. And there's two of these jacks on Big Buddy. Little Buddy's got one. Dump trailer's got two. But I've hit this and left the 080 on the trailer before. No problem. So if you come home and you're like, ah, you know what? Loaded or unloaded, the trailer's coming off quick. They just got to make an example of this trailer. Old Faithful. You buy this in like 99. This thing's 20 something. She's 22, 23 years old. 5,000 pound torsion axles, something like that. And he took the ramps off because, I don't know if this law is real, but he thinks it is. If you're over 40 feet, then you're supposed to have CDL. I don't know if that's a thing, but he takes the ramps off and he's not over 40 feet. And he can just drive the wheel real tractor right up on top of that. It's no big deal. This new decking for this trailer? Nah. Yeah. I mean, they don't have to, but it would help. Oh, yeah. Sounds like what? Terminator getting squished. <laughs> guess so overhaul. Kind of happy with it. I guess you'll see when he start towing. Yeah. Uh, hey. Surprise. Right. Right. Surprise. The super convenient way of moving trailers around the property. Don't hit that white rig behind it. That would be problematic for his health. Well, anyway, you guys saw the... About as much excitement as you're going to see.
see out of him for a um, new trailer. He talked a little bit for you guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. Like this video, share it. I'd really appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next one. LV Belt. Nice trailer, old son. See ya.